Hey everyone, this is Rich from Lower West Side Studio. I'm going to do something a little different today. Uh, I happen to be over at uh, the manufacturing location of Art for the Ears during their uh, expansion. And uh, wow, uh, if you could see what's happening there. Uh, but uh, Dave uh, received a piece of hardware to check out. And since he was really busy, he offered to let me give it a shot. Uh, it's the Zorx uh, Touch Bar. And it is a very cool add-on uh, for any any type of synthesizer that can take control voltage. Um, the unit is a clear plexiglass, and it's got the touchpad on top. Uh, it's a smooth piece of vinyl. Uh, there's a gate control. It's a momentary gate, and it can be uh, normally on or normally off, depending on that switch. Um, you've got... Uh, this controls the LED. It's got a very cool disco LED in there that can be either uh, on, off, or pressure sensitive. You've got uh, your pressure control as well. Uh, oh, excuse me, that's the uh, pitch range as well. So you can control the pitch range and you've got uh, uh, a certain amount of control. We'll get into that in a sec. Then there's a uh, gate pitch. Here's the output for the momentary gate. And this is kind of cool. This is uh, an output with a potentiometer that you can just basically patch into anything and use to manipulate its control voltage from the Zorx itself. So, uh, without any further ado, I'm just gonna show you real quickly. Um, I've got a music from outer space oscillator tuned up here, and we'll just patch the pitch control output into that. Now, as you can see, or here, there's no sample and hold. So once you hit that last note, you're going to return to the root. So that is something to consider when using this because... Okay, so that's kind of, you know pretty basic. Uh, that's sort of what it does. Um, how you use it is, is pretty much up to you. Uh, I'm going to get the uh, lights on by the pitch. Uh, the light's pretty cool. The hardware, as I said, is pretty neat. Uh, I would like to personally have seen a, a second LED in the bottom here. As you see, there's, there's a little room for it and so forth. You can see it's a beautiful job. He used, I guess, a CNC to, to route out the, the space for his his hardware and, and it's really well constructed. Um, I'm gonna patch this into something else I had going. So I was working on a, a few things where I'm playing with the uh, with the pitch and with the gate and with the the momentary out uh, or the uh, controllable output, which is going into. What is that going into? Oh yeah, it's going into uh, VC Echo, a music from outer space, VC Echo, and I got some pretty cool sounds out of it, like... Plus, you know, if you're a performance artist, you know, with the LEDs and stuff, you can use it, you know, sort of lightsabery, like Luke. Great little toy. Thanks Dave from Art for the Ears for letting me uh, give it a shot and I hope you found this a little bit useful. Uh, I know it was a quick review, but I can't stand 20 minute reviews on a product that's only got a couple of controls. Check it out, buy one for yourself and thanks for watching.